Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. I am here to do a Scentsy haul. There are spring bricks, there's a Mother's Day collection, a warmer, and some other goodies. So without further ado, let's get into it. There is nothing like a good old-fashioned unboxing haul for Scentsy. So I have my knife, and we are just going to open this box together. Now, I was so not going to buy spring bricks this year. I was like, nope, I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna buy them. I'm just gonna add the bars to my club. And that didn't happen. But you know what? It doesn't always have to happen. I got sucked in to the FOMO and I'm super excited for it. It looks like all of my goodies are here. I have uh, the infamous Scentsy paper. And look at how exciting this is. Bricks. Oh my gosh. All right. But before we dive into the bricks, I do want to share a warmer with you. Now, I already own this warmer. I didn't film a video on it, but I love this warmer. And I actually had one of my customers want to order it. And she told me I could unbox this in the video. It is the Simply Diamond Warmer. Now, look at how teeny this box is. But this guy is a powerhouse. I actually have this one in my bedroom right now. And... It works so well. So this is an element warmer. If you're not familiar with an element warmer, it means it uses a hot plate and not a light bulb to heat up your wax. There is a little indicator light on the back here. So you're able to see when it's on and you have your little dish. Now there is a number four on this dish. So even though this is a small warmer, it is powerful. So you wanna use no more than four cubes. I know Sensi says that four is actually optimal performance, but I get great performance out of two cubes. Let's see if this will focus. There we go. So this is the Simply Diamond. Got your dish here. And this is a 10 watt, I believe, right? A 10 watt element warmer. 12 watt, 12 watts. So guys, this is a powerful element warmer. So 12 watts, and I do know that in the Father's Day collection that launches next month, there is actually going to be a slate gray version. I might pick up two of those, to be honest, because I love the look so much. So I picked that up. I also, I believe there's just bricks, more scentsy paper, and some bars. So I'm going to go actually with the bars first. I've never seen them in like a random box like this before. Oh, I open them upside down. So there is a six pack and then the Mother's Day bars. So let's just pop open. I picked up a bar of aloe water and cucumber. I love this fragrance. I actually am using this in the counter clean right now. This is so good. It's fresh, creamy cucumber, exotic, like really creamy, creamy vanilla and pineapple. It's so good. I love this scent so much. It's fresh. It's clean. It's always a great performer. Oh, oh my gosh. I forgot about these too. I'll get into those. Whoa. I'm like so excited for this haul. I picked up a lemon sorbet. I've actually never tried lemon sorbet, but I love lemon scents. This is a very bright lemon. Like a very cool, crisp lemon. I also love the color. Like a very cool, crisp, fresh lemon. Not like cleaner. Just a very fresh, vibrant lemon. So excited to melt that one. I got By the Sea. I love By the Sea. I love Scentsy Aquatics. I think that we do aquatic scents so well. This is just fresh, aquatic, without being like a masculine cologne. So good after you clean the house. I've had this, I believe, in dish soap before. That or Make a Splash. I can't remember, but this and Make a Splash are some of my favorite, like, watery scents. This scent, Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze. Oh, my God. I had this last year. Yeah. It lasts days and days and days and days in the warmer, you guys. I love this, and I knew I needed to get another one. This is so good. I mean, I'm telling you, powerhouse. If you want a strong, long-lasting scent, you absolutely need to pick that one up. All right. I did get another set of the Easter bars. Let me see what the other Easter bar is. There should be three. Oh, right down here. So we have Pink Berry Fluff. 
right here. I've already talked about these on my channel. My favorite, Mandarin Zest. I feel like this is everybody's favorite right now. And Violet Spun Sugar. This one I have to melt still. It's like a, it's definitely like a very bright floral. Pinkberry Fluff. Fruity cotton candy. But this Mandarin Zest. Oh, this is so good. This is so yummy. Oh, I love it. If you like bright citrus, you have to check that one out. Hey, new Mother's Day. I got a rainbow sherbet here. This is so, so juicy. I mean, if you close your eyes and smell this, there's no way you wouldn't know this is a rainbow sherbet. This is 100% orange, green. What is it? Orange, green, and red or pink swirled sherbet. It's so good. Lemon drizzle cake. This is another one that I've never tried. I have it in the pods, but I haven't used them yet. Oh, see, I like this. A lot of people were like, oh, it's a lilac sugar, so it's like floral. I think this is really pretty. It's definitely not 100% straight lemon bakery, but you can get like that lemon, like a lemon cake. Oh, see, I like this. I don't know why people thought it was odd, so I have to see when I'm at lemon drizzle cake. Another box. All right. And now we have some newness. I did pick up the Epcot International Flower Garden Collection too, which I was really excited about. So if you don't know, Sensi has a partnership with Disney where they are the international fragrance of Disney. And the flower garden in Epcot every year, we actually sent the flowers, which I think is really cool. So these three are inspired by that. This one I think is gonna be my least favorite, Mint Fields. Oh yeah. This is not, this is not for me. This smells like spearmint grown in the garden, like fresh spearmint. Oh, mm -mm. wow. What I found. Oh, I, Amazon was looking up some mint leaves for me. Yeah, that is not for me. Wow, okay. Everybody's loving that one. I knew I wouldn't. I don't like those type of scents. Then we have Soft Plumeria. Maybe, there we go, soft area. Now this one I know has like teakwood in it. Ooh, okay. Definitely plumeria, definitely like that bright pink flower. Ooh. I can see where the teakwood's coming in, giving it more of like a masculine-y wood vibe with the flower. But I really like that though. Ooh, I think that's really pretty. And I think that's gonna be really strong. And then the one that I was most excited about, Heirloom Rose. If you know me, you know I love me some rose fragrances and people said this smells just like a rose. Oh yes, wow. If this performs, this is going in my club. Oh my gosh, is this good. This is my favorite. Heirloom Rose, Soft Lemuria, and then Mint Fields. Wow, is that good. This is green, stem, fresh. I hate to say Old Lady Powdery Rose, but you know the reference of Old Lady Powdery Rose. This is Old Lady Powdery Rose. Oh, is this yummy. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is beautiful. Sensi, this is the best rose I've ever had in my life. That is so good. All right, let me get this box out of the way and then look at the bricks. I have seen every video I think that anyone has made on these spring bricks, and I am so excited for those. But before we do get into the spring bricks, I do have the Mother's Day collection bars. Now, collection, there's only two bars. These are launching tomorrow, April 1st. I'm either going to upload this today or tomorrow, probably today, but April 1st, these are launching with the Mother's Day collection. This first one is Blue Coconut Beach. And this says, lush palm leaf shades creamy coconut and whipped vanilla between a bright blue sky. Ooh, I just shook you guys. There we go. It's a creamy coconut, creamy body care coconut. Not my favorite. I don't love coconut scents. I'm actually melting coconut palm from the Bring Back My Bar in my bathroom. I just got a plug installed in my bathroom. My plug did not have, my bathroom did not have an outlet for the longest time. Had an electrician in yesterday, he installed it. 
So happy I immediately plugged in a Scentsy plugin. I have the Why Are You Blushing warmer in there, and I have a cube of coconut palm, and it's super coconutty. I don't love coconut, so I figured in the bathroom I can smell it, and if it's on two days, one cube, that's going to be a powerhouse for me. Yeah, this is a very creamy, almost like if you're familiar with the body shop, like the body shop coconut body butter. So eh, I don't love that. But now this one, this one is interesting, you guys. This is wildflower cotton. And I've seen so many people talk about this. They're comparing it to sandalwood tangerine. I got a very small Scentsy haul in a couple weeks ago that I did not film. And I ordered a bar of Sicilian tangerine. Sicilian tangerine, sandalwood tangerine. And this says, zesty lemon and wildflowers brighten line dried cotton among sun kissed woods. Now everybody says this is very comparable to sandalwood tangerine. I'm gonna grab my bar and sniff them side by side. All right, I have sandalwood tangerine right here and wildflower cotton right here. So let's sniff sandalwood tangerine first. I know this is Melanie, Mr. Kong's mom's one of her favorite scents. Definitely heavy on the sandalwood. A very creamy, creamy sandalwood with that light citrus of the tangerine. This is going to be a great masculine bedroom set. All right, let's smell this one. It's lighter. It's definitely lighter. I don't think they smell the same. Yeah, I don't think they smell the same. I think this one is way heavier on the sandalwood. And this one, I can see how like they're in the same family, but they smell like two different fragrances to me. This you definitely get more like cotton, like a clean cotton scent with fresh. And like when it says wildflowers, I picture more like brown, like not dead flowers, but like desert flowers, you know what I mean? A little bit of lemon, like just a little bit. And it is definitely lemon versus tangerine. And then some bright cotton. Or, yeah. Mm. Okay. I don't know which one I'm going to like more. I'm definitely going to melt these in my bedroom. I'm on spring break next week from school. So I'm definitely going to do some fun melting weeks. And I definitely want to try these in my bedroom next week. So I will let you know. But I like both of these. I'm excited to see which one's better. Obviously, I might add one of these to my club because I definitely enjoy these. And I think these are the type of scents that I'm leaning more towards for my bedroom. So excited to have those. Now, let's move on. Look at these. Look at these. Oh my God. Look at these Scentsy bricks. I am so excited for these. And I'm actually going to put these in my favorite on what I think is going to be my favorite to my least favorite. All right. Mm, okay, here we go. So this is my order on my favorite and what I think to my least favorite. So let's start with my least favorite. Summer Berry Melon. And the only reason is I've watched so many videos and I tried not to watch all the videos, but it's hard not to. And the consensus seems like this isn't gonna be up my alley. It's cassava melon, strawberry, raspberry, and pineapple burst on the scene in a fruity and fun sensation. Now, these guys come out on April 10th, um, and they're going to be $24 for one or mix and match two for 40 As consultants, we were able to order these early. That's why I have my hands on them, but they do come out April 10th. Okay, ready? It's nice. It definitely gives me like a fruit, like smoothie, like a Jamba Juice type of vibe. Definitely heaviest on pineapple and melon to me. I definitely get that cassava melon, that sweet, ripe, juicy melon, and that zingy, zesty pineapple. I feel like the strawberry and the raspberry just like add it to just make this a like complex fruity scent. It's nice. Um, who knows if it's going to be my least favorite. We'll see. But it definitely, from the description, seems like that. So we'll see. Now, I've had this years ago, 
but I don't remember it necessarily. Beach Daisy. I know so many people love this, but I've heard a lot of people say how light this one is. Honeydew Melon, Wild Daisies, and Green Apple make a bouquet of fresh picked paradise. So if that's the case, I might just let these sit for a little while before I even melt them. It's very light, even on cold. Like, very light. And what I do smell... Okay, I definitely smell all three. I smell honeydew, I smell like white daisies, and I smell green apple. Like 33% each. Like it's like an equal ratio. As I smell, I can detect all three notes. It's pretty. It's very pretty. Like I said, it was not memorable when it was a Bring Back My Bar a couple years ago. And obviously, it's not my club. I never clubbed it, so I'm not sure. I'm gonna let this sit and see. But yeah, I mean, it just smells like sweet melon, white daisies, and green apple. Like, it, it definitely hits like boom, boom, boom. It's not super, super complex to me. All right, this one, pink apple and nectarine. Now, initially on names, this one I thought was gonna be my least favorite until I read the description. Pink apple and golden nectarine dance in a field of wild poppies with lush sugar cane. I love poppies. I love the scent of poppies. Nest had a fragrance years ago called Wild Poppy, and it was beautiful. I definitely pick up on poppy. And it almost has like pink apple, golden nectarine, wild poppy, and lush sugar cane. Hmm. I almost get like a, it has to be the sugar cane and I don't want this to sound like a plasticky note or kind of like pink sugar. You know how pink sugar, like the perfume or Scentsy's sugar has that like note at the end that makes it smell kind of artificial. It's kind of what this smells like to me. Mm. I don't know. Honestly, this might be my least favorite. Huh. Yeah, this might be my least favorite. We shall see. I don't know. Who knows? Now this, oh, I had this last year, cucumber and cactus water. And I got this after the summer collection was over and it was like too late to add to a club. I remember loving this. And this is crisp cucumber weighed into refreshing cactus water and sea salt. I love cactus scents, love them. Oh, this is so good. I love cactus scents, you guys. Love them, love them, love them. Cactus water scents are so sweet, but it's like, it gives me like aloe juice vibes. Like it, that's why I love aloe water and cucumber so much because those green scents are just so sweet and fresh and complex, beautiful. Oh, I love this. Yes, I remember melting this bar and falling in love with it. This is totally going in my club. Absolutely going in my club. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. It's sweet, watery, and cucumbers are a watery vegetable anyway. So mixed with like the cucumber or the cactus water and the cucumber, this is phenomenal. I love, super excited for that one. And now, Color alone, I was like, this is gonna be my favorite. And then when I started watching videos, everybody, not everybody, a lot of people are loving this. I'm so excited. The name, the colors, the scent descriptions, everything. Orchard by the Sea. Look at that blue. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. And this reads, an apple orchard flourishes beneath sea salt skies with whispers of crisp linens and green mango. Okay. Another reason why I think this sounds so good to me is because it's a very conceptual fragrance, like an orchard by the sea. I can already picture in my head, salty sea air blowing in the wind and an apple orchard is picking up all those nuances. I, I hope I love this as much as I hope it is. Oh yeah, this is so... I know my, I know my five. I know the order already. Oh my God. 
Okay, I've watched some warm reviews, but not a ton. Is this one just as great on warm as it is on cold? Because right now, I'm loving this. Next week, I think we're supposed to get like a day in the 70s. I'm totally gonna deep clean my house and pop this in the warmers. This is so nice. Oh my God. Salty sea air. Absolutely. You get salty sea air and like oceany waves. And then that linen is just so subtle. Like somebody's doing laundry way down the coast, like way down the coast. And those apple trees in the background, this is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I'm, I'm loving this. Oh, yeah. This is going in my club. Absolutely. I think this will be, this will be great in the winter when you're like really over the snow and you just want your house to smell fresh in the spring. This is good all the time. And the apple makes it a little fall. I know it's not a fall scent, but <gasps> ooh, in my bedroom, like fresh sheets popping this in. I'm so, I'm so excited to melt this. I'm so excited. I have another Scentsy order coming. I'm not gonna haul it. I ordered the flower garden warmer because I just couldn't with those colored bulbs. Chef's kiss, obsessed. I actually am gonna get that. It's on its way. I ordered that in a new Scentsy air purifier filter. Air purifier filter. So I'm not gonna film that. However, I am going to put a blue bulb in that and I think this is gonna be like, it's christening. I think I'm gonna pop on Orchard by the Sea. If this performs just as well as it smells in the brick, I might order two bricks of this and add the bar to my club. Wow, this is a winner. All right, so my order. Number one, Orchard by the Sea. Number two, Cucumber and Cactus Water. Number three, Beach Daisy. Number four, Summer Berry Melon. And last, Pink Apple and Nectarine. I don't know, I'm just not feeling that, you guys. So, <gasps> I'm so excited. Those guys come out on April 10th. So, in 11 days. I'm so excited. <sighs> yeah, I definitely need some Orchard by the Sea bricks. So, let me know. Did you guys get the spring bricks? Are you planning on getting some spring bricks? Let me know. I will leave my Sensi link down below. Feel free to place an order if you are interested in the bricks. I'm super excited to try these out. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. I love you all so much. Bye guys.